The problem is, if I, uh... Good luck, what, looking for a game? If I link it the other way around, I'm in trouble. Are you, what kind of, what spec are you? CI, Shadow Bow. Alright, I need cold lightning. I don't need life. It doesn't have life. The Topaz? Yeah, it does. Oh, I linked the wrong one. That three. first one's pretty nice. You already figured. Yeah, the first one's got like perfect stats, except for. Oh the, my uh, god, that armor. Yeah, it's got perfect stats, pretty much. Everything's perfect. Anyone want to sell me that? Oh my god, I got it. GCP, 10 off. You got it? I got it in like 20. Oh what shit. The fuck? Shut <laughs> up. Chris you lucky is watching. son of a bitch. You 21 of them. Holy crap. You, you lucky troll son ass of a bitch. Motherfucker. I hate. I quit this game, man. I thought I was I lucky when I got so it much. 241. Are you kidding me? Oh shit. He's You're shit. rich now. <laughs> You're so rich now. I quit. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. So Sounds happy. like it. Could you crash imagine if you, I, I would have just died if you like went past it. Server crash, roll back. Do oh, it. Dude, I need yeah, roll back to service, Chris. Bear Come back. on, Chris. Bear back. It's your permit. 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 Roll it back, Chris. Get it. That is my first six link that I've ever gotten, or like I've ever even had in my inventory ever. That was a pretty good thing that happened last night. Now I know some of you guys are probably asking this, like. Why would you relink a 5 link? I mean, do you really expect to get a 6 link? Well, the thing was, earlier that night, I also got this bad boy here. Combs Heart. I ended up paying 35 Exalted Orbs for it, which I think is a little bit over, because when it comes to getting uniques like this one, you can chance orbit. There is only one unique glorious plate, and the chances of that happening are about 1 in 500. And the cost of 500 scours and chance orbs is roughly 21 exalted. So paying 35 is a little over, but because of the demand being so high compared to the available items in the game, it was more or less reasonable. To get 35 exalteds, I had to sell one of the new demagogues, but I sold it to a friend. He wanted one, didn't feel too bad about it. In the end, I got Combs Heart. This is always the plan for this character. I know I haven't gone over this character too much, but um, I kind of want to show you guys uh, just the basics of it, the kind of concepts that uh, I try to implement in a character that use an ability that's as simple as Freeze Pulse. And I'm sure you guys want to see some really baller gear. So his character, his gear is stellar. So his resistances are at 85%. He is about 40 over cap on lightning and like 50 over cap on fire and cold. When I have elemental weakness cast on me, or one of the uh, single elemental reductions, um, I maintain 85 fire, 85 cold, and 80 lightning. But, you know, if I really need the resists, I can weapon swap to Saffle's frame, which gives me 5 to max resists and 10 to all resists. So even with elemental weakness, I would still be at 90. So 90 is a big difference from 75, because you're taking less than half the damage you otherwise would have with the old cap of resistances. To achieve this cap, uh, you know, I'm using Elemental Adaptation, I'm using a Purity Aura, and the Purity Aura is level 20, which is 4%, but because of Inner Force, increasing the buff effect by 30%, increase the 5 over max, that's what giving me the 85 and the 5 from the, uh, the Shield Switch. So I got the Resist covered because I do a lot of damage, because Reflect is always a problem unless you're a Lightning Arrow user, or a Totem user, or a Minion build. Now the big bad boy that I linked was the Staff. I've had this staff for uh, several days now. Um, I ended up six socket and five linking it uh, right when I got it, but I really wasn't able to use it because I would lose too much HP unless I had Combs chest, and I ended up getting that. So I decided to uh, try to at least re-five link the staff. And uh, the way it works is the odds are about one in 500 uh, fusings will give you a five link in a six socket item. The problem with five linking a six socket item is that um, you'd either miss the link at the top or the link at the bottom. It was originally missing the link at the bottom, but if I five linked it through the bottom, the colors would not have matched up because my first colors are two blues, two reds, and one green. The sixth link that I added in this case is added cold damage. 
So that's kind of the theory behind that. This thing's looking at one in 500. So pretty crazy luck that I had last night. On the weapon itself, um, it's amazing because you deal, everyone deals 20% more damage if the targets are frozen. And I have 6% chance to freeze through the shadow talent. So freeze, oh, I guess it's five. I thought it was six. Oh well, I guess it's five. 5% 5 chance to freeze through that. Eight through the staff, that's put, put, me, put me at 13, plus the 10 from the 20 quality added cold damage. 23% chance to freeze, and because I use greater multiple projectiles, which is five total projectiles, this 23% is rolled five times. See, when you crit, you crit with all five, but when you do the chance to freeze on hit, that's rolled individually. So I have the individual chance to freeze and the crit, which guarantees a freeze. So in addition to the freeze pulse, the greater multiple, the added cold damage, I also use life leech. So I pretty much, you know, maintain very high life pool. I use added lightning damage, so I can shock the targets and the shock ca cascades. So because I hit five times, the first target on a crit will be shocked for, uh, you know, just regular duration. The second hit will deal 40% more damage, shock again, and the shock would then be 40% longer, and then 80%, and then 120, 120. So in the end, I'll have a 120 duration shock, a 120 duration shock, and an 80 duration shock, and I'll deal significantly more crit damage than I would otherwise do. And I use blood magic because I reserve most of my mana for uh, auras. In fact, I believe I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? Haste. So, my freeze pulse DPS is 2,500 per pulse, but because it's five pulses and because I can hit one target with all five, the DPS is essentially uh, roughly 13,000. But it's more than that because when I crit, it doesn't consider the fact that I shock stack the targets. So the DPS is uh, more in the, you know, 16th, 20,000 range. I mean, it's kind of hard to guess in these cases. Um, with freeze pulse, I have as much crit as I, you know, could really get. Um, I go to the offense tab, 32.6. It'll go up slightly in a bit, but you know, not too too much. And my crit multiplier is 432. So when I crit, shit dies. That's the character. It's very defensive. It's a tank. I have 9,000 HP, insane resists. 5k armor is good enough for little dinky monkeys. And when I granite, 30,000 is good enough for just about anything else. And I just tank all the mobs. Freeze, pulse them down, and uh, freeze everything. So that's the build. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty amazing day I had yesterday finishing up my character. And I also ended up getting uh, a ring that pretty much matched all the resist that I still needed to get. And uh, man, looking forward to some serious mapping on this character and trying to get it up as high as possible. And maybe by the time I'm satisfied with the level, um, PvP will be a little bit more interesting than it is now because I know they're working on that shit and uh, we'll have a pretty good character at it. So we'll see what happens then. I'll see you guys tomorrow.